would like to talk to you about this concept of compounding time. If you think about it, it's a little bit about a compounding interest in your with money. Every time we spend, we invest some of our time today, let's say today, uh, instead of doing something else, we decide to invest that little bit of time. It could be 10 minutes, it could be one hour, it could be more. But we say, well, this process, this particular portion of this process cannot go like this forever. And I think I have a solution. So I'm going to put the time today. And let's say that something that before was about copying and pasting, copying and pasting, I find a way of automating that. So that task today takes me maybe one hour to put the system in place. But then what happens? Next week and the next, the other week and the other week or next month and the other month, every time I needed to repeat the same thing or someone in my team needed to repeat the same thing, now we have something in place that reduces their time from maybe one hour to just five minutes. It's more than possible, sometimes even less in, in with Excel. So now we applied some of our time today and we will see the results little by little every week. So next week I have this one, uh, this one hour uh, freed up and reduced to just maybe five or 10 minutes. So I have 50 minutes available on my time that I didn't use to have. So now I can use those 50 minutes and think what else can I improve in my system? And I can apply that time to improve something else. So instead of uh, thinking, that, oh, I need to spend one week to automate these all at once, another approach is let's think of what is easier to simplify or what is more urgent and what what easier for me to, to do right away to, to simplify apply the time to do that. Next week, we, you will have that time extra to apply on something else. And like that, your time, you put you put a little bit of time today, a little bit of time next week, and those actions, you start freeing up time in your future. So every time, and that's a very interesting concept that uh, sometimes we don't realize that we have that power in our end, hands and it depends on decisions that we make. And so this idea came from an article that I read a while ago. I, uh, I will put this PowerPoint available and we, you, you will have the link here to, to read that article in case you are interested. And uh, four things that they, it's, they are mentioned in that article by Mary Halton is that can help us um, manage or organize our time in a different way is first thing every time we need to do something is can I eliminate this do I really need to do this maybe I can eliminate this if I can eliminate, that's that's the easiest way we don't even have to think of automating it uh, and sometimes things are done just because they have always been like it's always been like that don't have you ever had that situation it's all why why is it done like that because it has always been like that and that's it <laughs> then if we cannot eliminate then we can think of automating it then if we cannot automate it maybe we can ask someone else to do it for us delegate that task or we can automate it in a way that our expertise to do that in X, if it is in Excel, it's not needed anymore. I just have to teach someone else and say, you click this button, you click this button, and that's it. So we can delegate that task for to someone else. And finally, we can procrastinate on purpose. And that means not do things just because we don't want to do them, but uh, not doing something because we realize that now it's not the time for it yet for some reason. Maybe. Uh, it needs, we need to get more information before we take action on it, or maybe there are other things that are more urgent. So that's the fourth element that can help us um, decide what to do first and how to make things easier and gain time on our daily tasks.